am a proud gun owner. I am a proud supporter of our Second Amendment. That's at risk, folks. We're already hearing on the news about what a potential President Biden might do and try and restricting our ability as gun owners, okay? So who's going to defend that in the United States Senate? David Perdue and Kelly Leffler, exactly. How many of you, how many of you here support the men and women in blue? God bless you for that. So while the left and the opponents of David Perdue and Kelly Leffler are busy trying to defund the police, David is defending the police. Now, one thing, I, you know, I, I came in at the same time as David, and David is a great friend. Um, I tell you, we are in Bible study together as well. There's a group of us in the United States Senate that get together every Tuesday morning. And I tell you what, when we talk about religious freedoms in the United States, that's also at risk right now. So, and I, I know folks here, just like in Iowa, folks in Georgia are God-fearing Americans. And we believe in religious liberties, and that's at risk. I could go on and on and on about all of the work that David and I have done together in the United States Senate, whether it's working on the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And let me tell you, you've got one hell of a fiscal conservative on your hands right here. But he also does that. He is also, not only is he a fiscal hawk, but he's also a military hawk. And making sure that the men and women in uniform, and I know you have a lot of really wonderful installations here in Georgia. I've been at many of them. Um, but making sure that they have the resources necessary, that if we send them overseas, we're going to make sure that they come home safely to their families. So again, I could go on and on and on about a, what a wonderful American David Perdue is. And we can't forget Kelly Leffler. We have two seats that we are defending. And this is so important to me, you know, serving in the United States Senate, making sure our country stays on track. I'm spending two full days here in the state of Georgia out on the trail with my good friend David Perdue, making sure that we get people out to vote, okay? I know all of you are going to vote, but we've got to get your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues, the people at church, you've got to get them out to vote. All of this is nothing if we don't turn out on the 5th of January. Okay, so my task to you is make sure that we keep America on the right course and that we defend our rights as United States citizens that we uphold our Constitution, that we are pushing back against higher taxes, that we're pushing back against defunding our police and our military. You've got a fighter in David Perdue, and you have got a fighter in Kelly Leffler. We're standing up together for small businesses, we're standing up for our military, and we are standing up, I come from an ag state, Georgia is an ag state as well, and we are going to stand up for our farmers and ranchers. So thank you so much for your hospitality today in Georgia. It is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to be back. And again, make sure you're getting out. You're turning out the vote. David can't do it without you. So it is my pleasure right now. I'm going to turn the microphone over to my dear friend. But um, God bless you all. We know that we can't allow these seats to go to the Democrats. We can't allow Chuck Schumer to take the majority in the United States Senate. That's what's at stake. So it is my great honor, my great privilege to introduce to you your current and your future United States Senator, David Perdue.